Alright. Let's uh take a look at something real quick. Let's see. My biggest problem is that I'm a human. It's obvious. I'm a human so group. It's super obvious. It's so obvious, it's not fucking funny. It's uh it's pretty uh sad and mind blowing though that I gotta bear witness to all the not humans on all the TikTok sorts experiencing not only wildlife and stuff. But I got a couple of them I would wanna uh I would wanna point out. Uh let me uh show you this. It's going to be pretty hard to do stuff like that when you got to wear a mask, a muzzle, you know, a zombie muzzle, because, you know, can't have you all biting us humans when we put to be the masters, rulers of the universe, or at least its soul system, at least, no matter what. I honestly have no idea why he does this. Uh There's a lot of female cat videos single mom or and just like no guy in a picture I wonder why and I have also seen heard though so that uh, I'll see if I can pull up but yeah it's like Chad is blood by more than one female so much so that they would share Chad my working theory is that he's stupid. Or oh, that guy is awesome. Getting you make a video about it. Oh, exposing you. Uh, it gonna get good in a moment. Look at this. They get to experience this, but we humans don't. Oh, I keep forgetting this dislike. Yeah, think about it. Like, this is what they do. They're going to do, uh, do every single thing and experience every single thing that they can. And I even made a video uh, not that long ago about... How they going to try to, um, I see, I see if I can put it link down below of, of this video, but yeah, they going to, uh, make every invention possible I and mean, they coming out of nowhere, by the way, they come out literally nowhere making all these inventions, inventions, and it's just like, they just going to try to war and do everything, uh, without humanity being able to do it. Damn, they just, they just come in and conquer and stuff like that. Damn, that ain't good. I can't be good for the health. I took my pet duck munchkin to a pet-friendly amusement park in Elysburg, Pennsylvania called Knobles. The first thing we rode was the antique cars, which goes under the famous Phoenix roller coaster. Of course, I had to get some photo ops of munchkin there. And next, we headed over to the North Pole because munchkin loves ice, so she had an absolute blast. Knobles is also known for their grand carousel, which we were able to ride in one of the little chariots. And of course, we had to get a photo op on one of the horses as well. Finally, we went over to the boat rides, which Munchkin seriously loved. I think it was her favorite ride, which also has a roller coaster go over it. And we also got to take two train rides. This one was called Old Smoky. And then we headed over to the other train, which was a longer ride. And Munchkin seriously loved going through the woods. We got to see some cool animals. And it was seriously a great way to end the day. I Can you imagine the females are now taking their pets out 
like they would take a relationship out. Waiting around a duck other than a partner. You know, I, I would say it's bestiality in a way. And you know, you know, Doug Gay, you know, great. It, you know, feels comfortable. You know, looks like it having a blast, you know. But think about it. Think about it. We live in a somehow a civilization of wonder. Well, inventions going to be made that ain't created by humans because you know they they all the not humans. The dark eye sockets. Wait a second. I'm going to zoom in right here. Who is, or what in the hell is that? Dun 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 dun! Oh, uh, anyways. But yeah, they're going to turn zombie and stuff like that. And they're going to keep doing what they're doing. Even though they know it's wrong, they're going to still do it because they are programmed to do this. They're going to do every single thing wrong possible before they do something white. It doesn't matter anyway. They literally... Uh, I guarantee you, they're like 100 million humans. And, like, this is how it's going to be. Literally. Where... They all gonna get wiped out. They're not humans. I mean, go, they gonna go zombie and stuff like that. And there's less, like less than uh, 500 million humans that are male. By the way, I don't even think that that many males. I think they like maybe at most, at most, one fourth of the hundred million. Yeah. One quarter at most. At most. At most. I wouldn't be shocked if there was like 50,000 only. Out of, out of 100 million. Actual humans left. But the, and, uh, at the end of the day, they don't need that many of us. <clears throat> but anyways. Uh, they're going to go zombie. They're going to wear their muzzles. And, um, well, they're going to celebrate. Wait, what? Like, right down near as you can get to bestiality. Does he have a duck fetish porn or something like that? Like, is that a new fetish and porn they're going to be? Oh, my God. I hope not. That's going to be sick. If he does get a boyfriend, he wearing a duck suit. That's what I think. What do you all think? Let's see. How far is it? Oh, man. Pretty far. But, yeah, look at this. It seems innocent. Uh-oh. Look at that. Can't see your eye sockets with the damn. Even though it got the hat on. Doesn't matter anyways. Oh. No. Uh, at certain uh, wanes of light frequency, you can't even see the eye sockets. Look at tattoos. See, see all over these uh, raccoons, right? Or the all over her. Oh, wait, what? Be careful, raccoons. Be careful. It got probably STDs. Is this how they infect the wildlife <laughs> with the quotes well, let me go history. Uh, let me uh, see if I can get to it. There's a lot of uh, videos, I swear. Uh, I got videos about what you make about some things. Uh, even reviewed some of my own videos. Oh, ha ha ha. That's a video I was uh, concerned about in a way. Are you single? Uh, yes. How about you? Are you single? No, I actually have a boyfriend. Boyfriend? Okay. Are you guys like like friends? Yeah. Yeah, we've been best friends forever. Oh, best friend? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so since you're best friends, you must know uh, her boyfriend, right? Uh, well, we used to date, but now we're just friends. But it's like chill, though. Like, wait, what? They're totally fine. I wait, promise. Wait, you're, 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 you're her boyfriend's ex? 
Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's like we're weird. Yeah. That's not weird. No, no, I totally no. trust her. Remember, boys, chicks would rather share one chat than commit to a beta. See? See? And as you can clearly see, the black guy looks well dressed. You know, its hair all t tight. You know, tied up even. See? And uh, he's out there with the microphone or phone or whatever I see all time. All time. I see videos all time. And it's heavily ethnic. It's like they're going out in a... Uh, just been born last year or whatever and they going out and they uh trying to gain some type of understanding about the social climate and stuff and uh, they figure the best way is to well do interviews yeah possibly make some social connections into it's an into it thing very into it thing how they do that uh -huh. very lonely they seem to be but you know they cucks could be able to do all these chats. They're going to be uh, ignored. Jeez. For the few. The few. It's a tribe. Understand this whole thing. It's not a community. This is a tribe. Multiple tribes, actually. But it's all based off of two tribes, actually. It's just one of the tribes have many tribes in it. And those are not humans. They're fallen seed stardust. They act like they're human, but they ain't. And the, uh, the other tribe is human. And we have the white here. They don't. I just like this uh, clearly wet toyed or amphibian toyed. Whatever you want to call it. Jeez. He also pumps and dumps and he doesn't even have a community. What? Oh, oh what? More pump and dumping? Like, how can you have a community only for your own? This is why uh, this avowed MGTOW because uh, they just became like this, literally. Like full blown waves of holic, red pillars, too much high on their alpha ism that they can't just like make a community. They can't make a connection with the damn. But they uh, say, oh, you know, I, I got, you know, this one girl pumped and dumped. Yeah, but then you criticize if she doesn't have a. V card, the version card, then you ain't going to put a wing on it. But what if she does have a version card, are you going to take that virginity and then you're going to denounce that she has any virginity? Like what? Because you won't commit. So, you know, the Undead Chronic having that no hymen, no diamond type of thing going on, like he doesn't have a diamond for anyone, even a virgin. Not even for a virgin. And you keep pumping and dumping, pumping and dumping, pumping and dumping. That's all it is. It's, it's not even a community, it's a tribe. And tribes, look at how they go about things. Like freaking animals. Huh, yay. Like freaking fucking animals. It's sick. Ah, uh, this video getting too long. But yeah, you get the point. Wait, final thoughts. Yeah, you know, sometimes they got something good to say, like Mike Woe and the Temple Boomer Boys. Yeah, I, I watched that and I was like, yeah, I agree with some of that, what Undead Quark says, but not everything.